In this class, we are going to discuss momentum as a generator of translation. As in previous classes, we have been uh, discussing translation operator. The translation operator is in the form of T of dx dash equal to 1 minus i k dot dx dash. This satisfies all the properties of infinitesimal translation operator and we have opted this as infinitesimal translation operator. We know what is dx dash. This is a infinitesimal distance or a small distance. And we need to know what the quantity k means. Let a particle is at position x. As a part of our observation, we are sending some radiations or beam of electrons into it. This causes a disturbance or this make a shift of this particle from one point to one position to another x dash and this small distance is dx dash. What is the cause of disturbance? The cause of disturbance is momentum of this radiation or momentum of this beam of particles. So that means this quantity k is directly related to the momentum. Okay. But actually we cannot directly write k equal to p because in the last class we have discussed that the quantity the term k dot dx dash should be dimensionless if this quantity should be dimensionless this is in the dimension of length so for this quantity should be this whole quantity should be dimensionless this should be in the dimension of 1 by length then only this halt will be dimensionless so we are taking k equal to p divided by a universal constant in the direction in the dimension of action dimension of action that we have taken as p divided by h cross you know this is Planck's constant uh, divided by 2 pi h cross equal to h divided by 2 pi so we can write the infinitesimal translation operator t of dx dash equal to 1 minus i p divided by h cross dot dx dash so we got the form and we could understand uh, uh, what is the quantity k means k means momentum it's physical significance of k is uh, the momentum okay so uh, we can write commutation relation we have uh, already solved a commutation relation that is xi kj xi kj equal to i into delta ij so we can write p divided by h cross instead of this kg. So this implies this implies x i comma p divided by h cross equal to i delta i j. Okay. This implies the important commutation commutation relation x i p j equal to i h cross delta ij 